Welcome all you new folks and welcome back to Loving It on Keto. How is everybody today? Man, we had, I think, the strongest windstorm we've ever had yeah, never, since we moved here. Yeah. I mean, we left the bedroom at 11 o'clock at night and went into the den study area because we have huge eucalyptus trees and that wind was blowing, I would say, 60 miles an hour. Oh, yeah, it, it hit gusts. The noise, I thought it was thunder, but it wasn't. It was the wind, and it knocked everything down in the backyard. We've got broken branches in the backyard. Haven't looked at the front yard yet, but I bet there's power outs and trees broken and all kinds of issues here, at least in the Phoenix area. If you guys are in Arizona, leave me a message. Did you guys have the wind last night? Did it tear or break down any trees or anything like that. Thank goodness it wasn't trash day or all the trash cans would be oh, down there. Oh, they'd down the block. They, they would have rolled away because it was that bad, you guys. Harry got a huge rock and put it on the top of our jacuzzi and big pieces of wood to hold it down so that it wouldn't fly away because it was just crazy. I looked out front and there's my, my mat was is blown away. And uh, it's crazy. Anyway, I digress. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because I got to get to work pretty soon. Today is the 18th. That's a protein sparing modified fast day. Take a walk if you can. It's our August protein sparing modified fast for weight loss challenge. It's Where right here. This Where is what I? we're on. Hitty, don't confuse me. No, because that's First thing I, in the morning. I know you showed it. I screwed like, up yesterday, everybody, so just don't pay attention to yesterday. Either Harry did or I did, or we both did. We are filming today. What day is today? T today is Tuesday. We film for Wednesday, so we can be on the same protocol as you all are on at the same time. Kind of. Sort of try. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, because I flipped it, and I colored on my own calendar... Harry's going, what are you doing to me, Wendy? What are you doing? Mm. I'm still trying to find out, figure out what KC means. Anyway, you guys, <laughs> everything, <laughs> that you, tell me. everything that you eat or drink the day before, sometimes two days prior, any inflammation, which I am having big time on my hands for the past couple days. Now, barometric pressure can have something to do with that or the fact that I had almonds and I've got these little bumps right in here that are bugging me, that, that itch. Not a bite, so I don't know what, but my joints from here down my thumb, radiating down my Can you hold them up in the, in the screen? There oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Harry's mad at me again. Ooh, he's shaking his head, Mr. Cameraman. Anyway, you guys, my hand, this part. Of my yeah. Hand, and down here. Right. This part of my hand. Especially this joint in through here. I know it's carpal tunnel too, but inflammation causes huge issues. Arthritis. Yes, with water weight. Anyway, I digress. You guys, yesterday, what did we have to eat yesterday? Well, we had an English muffin. Uh, seven ounces of my chicken that I made into uh, chicken salad with uh, two teaspoons of avocado mayo, lots of mustard, six slices of uh, pickles, sugar-free. They were the bread and butter ones. Two beautiful slices of protein sparing modified fast keto chicken, savory chicken bread that was amazing on with the chicken on it. It really was. Orange cream, keto chow ice cream, collagen, three tablespoons, keto creamer, 6% carbs for a total of 11 grams, 34% fat for a total of 28 grams, 60% proteins for a total of 112 grams. My total calories were 682. I was so full. When you eat the bread, with your food you are so full and it stays with you because it's protein it's wonderful anyway here he had an orange keto chow shake he asked me to make him one because he just wanted one for breakfast english muffin he had two uh slices protein sparing modified bread with chicken you guys did not see did you see the oh yeah you had the ground chicken didn't you i made it oh that's right he had the chicken and he measured it and it was actually seven ounces he didn't need eight Orange cream, keto chow ice cream, collagen, oops, my fingers, I get blue on them. Three tablespoons, keto creamer, that says creamer with a big windy foot, 
fingerprint right there. That's Wendy's fingerprint right there, see? 8% carbs for a total of 18 grams, 29% fat for a total of 28 grams, 63% protein for 137 grams of protein. His total calories were 802. And you guys, we both went down. We knew we would. Yeah. We knew yeah. it was temporary water weight. I went down a pound. Harry went down a pound and four tenths. Yeah. <gasps> Did you wait? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Harry! I, uh... You got a new load! I didn't even notice whoop, that. Whoop, whoop. I went, whoop! Uh, uh, Harry! Wow! Whoop! Let's give it up to Harry! Woo! You didn't even notice that? No, I didn't notice that. 167.6! You got the two fur off, man! Yeah. You changed this. Yeah. That's exciting! Man, you're doing good. I'm so proud of you. You're doing awesome. But let's go to the big board now. You got something to talk about. Yep, put a circle. Well, I'm very tired. It was very stressful with the wind. I, my, my whole side of my house was rattling, you know, because of our, our sliding glass windows. Wow. So that's one, one two, three, four, wait a minute. five, that's six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Boom, boom, boom. Man. Woo. You are rocking it, yeah, Harry. It uh, seems to really work good for me. Yes. I, I, I think it's the bread. I think a lot of people are feeling the same way. The bread has kind of like made things different for them. It has. It turned a whole new leaf. It has. <clears throat> yeah. It's amazing how that's worked. Yeah. It's really something. Because you get the hot, you get higher protein. And you've plus got. You don't eat as much. Yeah. And you've got. Two and a half, you're exactly halfway through the month here. Yeah. You're exactly half, look, oh my gosh. Wednesday's the day for you here. Oh yeah, every Wednesday I lost weight. And Friday, every Friday. Wow, that's weird. It's because Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is protein spray and modified fast maybe? I don't know. But I'm satisfied. I oh, mean, I am too. You it, know, but it's it's, it's, still it's still wonderful. Weird. So, and I can tell in my clothes. These when I put these oh, pants yeah, on, check out your I was well, uh, well, more than that, my pants are fitting me differently because I have a lot of fat accumulated on my inside of my knees, and I think my walking. Oh, these are my little Erica's. Aren't they cute, you guys? I had to, I wanted to wear leather shoes, not suede, not sandals because of the water factor here. When it rains that hard, the water sits everywhere because it doesn't uh, go into the hard pan ground as well. So I know our parking lot that I have to walk through is going to have major puddles, if not lakes, to get through. Oh wow, what are you going to do about that? Nothing. I try to step over them and step around them and walk on curbs and stuff. So. Just tread water. Yeah, tread water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm right? Uh -huh. uh, anyway, everybody, I hope everybody's having a great day. I am got to get to work now, you guys. Let me see. How do you think I should go? I think I'm going to go to work this way. Bye! Okay, you guys, I have my lunch. <clears throat> it's pouring rain. I have my electrolytes. I got my Adapted Nutrition electrolyte delivery last night, so I'm glad because I really like those electrolytes. I have a Cherry Cola Zevia. I have a Perrier Peach. I have got some of my um, Wonder Bread Keto Chow style with the savory chicken. So I have some ground turkey chicken with uh, Keto Chow gravy. I also have the little bit of my... Um, Leftovers from yesterday's chicken salad sandwich. Kind of hungry today, and we're doing two back to back, which isn't very good to do. But I don't know how to rectify it any better than that. Um, protein spraying modified fast today, so we may eat a little bit more calories, maybe. But you guys, I'm so excited. Harry didn't even realize he had an all-time new low. I like I looked at the the um, weight little chart, and it was like, wow. So I'm really excited for him. Anyway, you guys, I've got to put this all together. And oh my gosh, you should see the trees that are down around the neighborhood. Crazy, a huge eucalyptus tree, huge ancient one. 
Couldn't even put your arms around the tree trunk if you wanted to. Fell on uh, Missouri. Flat out fell. I'm talking roots and all. Ripped up the whole area. So there's a lot of stuff that's down. We had a tree that snapped off at the top here at work. They're working on that. All kinds of issues. So anyway, everybody, I'm going to put my lunch together. I am going to shake the raindrops off, go downstairs and get a cup of coffee. Yes, indeed. We've got all kinds of nice stuff. Look, you can even put flavor shots in water. Um, Harry could get his decaf right there. You can even change the strength. You can add milk. We want black. My hair is already wigging out, so you guys are going to see some cute frizz going on here. Serious frizz. Yes, indeed. Okay, come on, coffee. Anyway, everybody, I'll see you upstairs when I get there. Oh, man, is it raining. Well, at least we got rain this year. We needed it. I know you guys hear me say that, but we really do. Anyway, you guys, let's take a taste test of our coffee. Mmm, <sighs> a little bit of cinnamon in that. Oh yeah, and I put half a scoop of MCT oil cinnamon toast. Yeah, the dam's clogged. Gotta get it moving again, and that MCT oil powder really helps me along. I took a magnesium citrate last night, too. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna enjoy this. Smelling heavenly today, by the way. Oh, yeah. And that little bit of cinnamon in there. Mm. Coffee is one of the best aromatherapies there is. Got to drink my coffee and get to work, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day. Sit down, have a cup of coffee, and enjoy yourself. Yo, hey listen man, I got something to talk to you guys about and the reason for that is because I did not cover one item yesterday that is really important and so I'm going to cover it right now. Gosh, there's just nothing better than a good cup, you know? What I wanted to talk about was this. Every month, I like to give a coffee the best I've had for that month. And this month is... Black Rifle Liberty Coffee. Yeah, man, that was great, great coffee. Oh, in fact, got some right here. I suppose you're wondering why I'm not using the cup. You know, let's just say I don't want to screw up and show you the bottom of the cup or the back of the top or the front of the cup right now. So I thought, well, I'm going to put it in my favorite drinking cup when I make coffee for myself. This is it. This is not my decaf cup. My decaf cup is that big tall brown one. This isn't around right now. It's probably in the other room getting cold because I'm having this. But what I wanted to go over with you guys today was, which I did not yesterday, was the cleaning of one of these. And it's like really imperative for really good tasting coffee 
you want a really clean uh, press. You really do. You want a really clean press. And they're very, very easy to clean. Let me show you. In fact, here, I'll show you on this one. So they just got through cleaning this one. <laughs> so you can see, I really want to clean the inside. You want it really nice, man. Really nice. You, know, you don't want a bunch of sediment in there and everything. So you look at this thing, right? And if you notice, what it's got right down here, right here at the bottom is a nut. You hold it and you twirl this. Okay? Keep twirling it to unscrew it. Comes unscrewed. See? Now all these pieces come apart. You get spares of these if you get a good one. If you get a good one, you'll get a couple of spares. And this is pretty, and then you can put them in the washing machine uh, or scrub them by hand. I scrub them by hand because I want to make sure I'm getting all the nooks and crannies in here and everything. And that ain't all. And usually what I'll do is I'll take this bit off. You see it's coming off. And then this slides out. Then I can wash, put everything into something to wash everything really nice and clean. And that's pretty much how I like it. So going back to the other, quite simple, you put the thin air, the th if, if, you have, if you happen to buy the same kind I got, they're all a little different. But you can see how this one's tapered on the top here. So I put that, you got to put it through here first, of course, and then just twirl this thing on. Then you put... Put all this back together again after you've cleaned it. You can see how it just kind of there's a this thing's here. Put that there. That goes there. Take this. And screw it on there. You can see how it screws right back on, nice and tight. So it makes this really, really, really super easy to clean. One other thing uh, I didn't show you, what I'll do is I'll use water. Well, no, we really don't need to use anything. But if you notice, in the front, just like this one, it's got this recessed, recessed area in it. That's for pouring. So you can like shut it off. This is how I start when I pour. Let me show you with this one. This one's got a grid. You can see the grid. The water flows through, and then it's also got a high area and another low. Now, the reason for that, is for me, because like I said yesterday, I do things a little different. When I pour myself a cup of coffee, I always start with it on this area here like this, and pour it through, and it comes through really slowly. Then when I get about half the cup full, this is what I, this is only, I only do this when I got one cup left in here, by the way. Okay, so... You pour it in, right, and you're going to get down. It's not coming out very fast. So I bring it back. The rest, the remaining amount of the cup goes down. I swirl it around a little bit. Might get a little cloudy, but at this point it's okay. Push back down, and then if you watched me yesterday, I was slowly turning it. And then it started coming out faster. And I'll put it up right here so you can see what I'm talking about. But that's really about it. There's not a whole lot to these things. They're pretty darn simple. I'd like to show you some of the more complicated ones, man, because there's some ones out there that blow your mind. And they got a price tag to match. So, like I said, best coffee of the month is Black Rifle Liberty. I really like that coffee. I'd like to thank Jill W. again for sending it to me because I'm really enjoying this. All right, you guys, I just wanted to keep keep up. Thought I'd better bring that up because quite a few people wrote today about the about using a French press. So I thought I'd better slip that in. Anyways, enjoy your coffee. Catch you later. Hey, you guys, I am having, look at this. This is the ground chicken turkey on, um, a piece of my delicious savory chicken keto chow protein spraying modified fast bread with pickles.
I've got my beef gravy with my poultry seasoning on that and then I've got some Louisiana hot sauce on it yes indeed and then I'm washing it all down with a ginger root beer so I am excited but doesn't that look delicious yes indeed it does Ooh, that's a lot can't wait to eat man Woo! it's hot and my hair is going nuts. It was pouring rain when I got here this morning. I had an umbrella, but I was jumping over puddles all the way into the office. And then my hair decides it wants to frizz. I know, TMI, but I am out walking now because there's a break in the weather. and The sun is actually out. It's actually um, drying up everything, which is nice. Our backyard looked like a hurricane hit it. And we've got standing water on the side of the house. We're gonna have to figure out what to do because the ground is saturated right there where it goes out normally. So I don't know what Harry's gonna do. We're gonna have to figure it out though, you guys. Are you guys keep moving your body? Are you getting up and walking? Are you lifting your weights? We still have not been lifting our weights because Harry's supposed to get those out and we forgot to have Dave help carry them. Harry has a torn rotator cuff and arthritis in his neck shoulder area. And if he lifts too heavy, then he gets in trouble. So we haven't done that yet. My bad. So we gotta just take it one thing at a time. You know, I work full time and we do a video every day. Sometimes things get away from you, so. And those are pretty flowers. Anyway, um, saying hi to the gardener who's planting some new vincas and everything because everything got beat up so bad with the rain and the wind. So, anyway, you guys, I'm going to continue to walk today and I will talk to everybody in the next segment. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hey, man, how you doing? It's lunchtime! I'm not really hungry today, you know? Not at all, not even a little bit. So, I think what I'm gonna do is have this. Yeah, I'm just gonna have me a keto chow today. Uh, it's empty, it's cause I gotta make it. I've seen, while reading some of the comments, that a couple of you even asked how to make one. So I thought, well, shoot, since I'm having one, let's make it together. So, you know, what I'm choosing to make, if I'm going to have a keto chow, and we're trying to do the, the weight thing right now, and my favorite, my favorite of all times is chocolate peanut butter. Okay, it really is. But I, I'm not going to have this because out of all the keto chows, this one has the highest fat and the highest calorie count. And that's because they use real peanut butter in there, you know. So, just for that little bit of flavor, I'm going to skip that. I'm going to go with the caramel macchiato because it's my second favorite. Now, this is Wendy's favorite of all time. I mean, uh, I really like it too. Um, but my favorite is, like I said, the chocolate peanut butter. Of course, then again, I've always liked chocolate and peanut butter. So, you know, anyway, so here's what we do. Okay, so when you want to make one of these, problem with them is you can't eat food and have one of those too. So since that's what I really want, that's what I'm having today. You know what else I'm going to have with this? I'm going to have this piece of bread right here. This it's like hill. I'm going to have that. So that's what I'm doing. So let me, let's get to this and I'll show you what I do. So basically the first thing I do is uh, make sure you got one of these in there. Okay, or if you use a different kind, I'm sure they've got like those plastic spiked ones and all that kind of stuff. Um, then I take, I go ahead and get this. This is my caramel macchiato. And we all, um, two crazy ketos made this up. So what I do is I get this and I just kind of like make it flat and even. This comes in the bigger bags. This, uh, 
It's the thing, the thing right here. Anyways, then I go ahead and I pour it in. Put this back so I don't do anything stupid like get it wet or something. Then I take it over to the water and I put some water in it. Now, normally I would put uh, some kind of fat in there, but right now I'm trying to stay away from fat as much as possible. So I usually fill it about halfway, about like that, right? Then I come over here, put my lid back on it, shake it up. I want to shake it really good. And I always look to see if there's like any buildup or anything in there. Okay, so after that's done, I usually pop the lid a little bit like this, right? And I'll take it back over here to the water. And go, and, and go ahead and fill it up the rest of the way. You can see it going up in there. Snap the lid back on. Shake her up some more. That's all there is to it, man. Now, what, what we usually do is, uh, in, this particular, in this particular container, so what we usually do, uh, if we're gonna add fat, is we use this. We, we add uh, 14 grams of the avocado oil. And that gives us our fat. Uh, but I'm not having that today. So, that will be a no. Some people like to stick it in the refrigerator overnight. Some people like to put it in the refrigerator for an hour or two. I'm fine. I mean, it tastes a little bit better, I think, if you keep it in the refrigerator for a while. But when you're hungry and you don't have time to wait around, you know, or you got to go someplace and you need to eat, um, works fine just like that. It really does. Mm. Oh, yeah, one more thing. I'm going to take this piece of bread. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. That'd be it for us today. That's all there is for lunch, man. I mean, lunch is pretty simplified today. Plus, I'm so loaded with things to do. Boy, that, that kind of bread just tastes like, oh, it's got the texture, it's got everything. It's, you know, Wendy's just good at this. I'll never try it. Well, I should say never. I might sometime, but. Okay. I think I got everything. You guys have a good lunch if you haven't ate already. That's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, you guys. I'm home, and I was thinking, what could I make protein sparing modified fast that would work for Harry and I with what I have in my refrigerator? So I got out the chicken turkey breast that Harry cooked last night. I measured out eight ounces in this pan. I'm going to heat it, and I'm going to add the rest of our uh, gravy. This is the beef poultry mix gravy, and I'll share with you guys how to make this because I'm going to be using this for a little... We're going to do a Remken casserole. So I'm just going to use the gravy. And I'm going to put this aside because I'm going to just reuse the gravy container in just a minute. So let me stir this. So what I thought I would do, is let me take this scale and turn it off and move it over because I have so much room here. 
not. So I've got my meat and when Harry cooks the meat in our house, we don't season it because of Sally. Sally gets some of our cooked meat. So now I'm gonna put organic seasoned salt. This is Redmond, I love it, it's delicious. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some on there. I'm gonna put a little bit of onion. A little bit of garlic. And I'm going to put a little bit of my favorite poultry seasoning. What's that? This is the poultry herb by Morton and Bassett. So, I am going to let this get cooking. When it's done, I'm going to fill my remkins. Then I am going to put raw cheddar, just a fine layer. And then, you guys, I have to make bread. Protein spray and modified fast bread. I'm going to use my Italian seasoned recipe that I've shared with everybody. You can go get it. It's on uh, episode 603 in the description below. It's also pinned to our Facebook uh, loving it on Keto with Wendy fans page. Um, I'm going to make it, and instead of using a cornbread topping, I'm going to put the bread topping on top and see what happens. So let's get started with my bread, you guys. You guys kind of know the routine, so we may go a little bit faster on the bread. Okay, take one cup plain egg white powder and reserve it to add after the egg whites are stiff peak. Put it in that bowl with the rest of the other ingredients. We've got 12 large egg whites at room temperature in beating up as we go. I've got allulose and I'm gonna add one quarter cup allulose. If you don't have allulose, use one tablespoon swerve confectioner sugar instead. Your bread won't get as brown, but it will taste good. Next, I take a teaspoon and add my poultry seasoning. I add a teaspoon of poultry seasoning this time, you guys. I'm exchanging the Italian seasoning for poultry seasoning today. So take a teaspoon and add your nutritional yeast. I like Bragg's brand, but there are several different brands, including Sprouts Makes Their Own. It's all delicious nutritional yeast. Now I'm looking for a half teaspoon. So I've got my half teaspoon. And I'm adding Fleshman's Active Dry Yeast. You can use any brand of dry yeast, but I like the taste of Fleshman's. Grew up with it when my mom was making homemade bread. This just gives you a little bit more sourdough, bready type of a taste. To the dough to the batter. And you add that in, one half teaspoon. Next I take Redmond organic sea salt, their seasoned salt, and put in half teaspoon. It really adds flavor to the bread, you guys. It really, really does. And I am going to use a little less than half a teaspoon of the California onion. Those are granules and they're stronger than powder. 
So if you're using granules, use a little less than a half a teaspoon. Powder, you can use a half teaspoon. Same with my garlic granules. A little less than half teaspoon. Next comes cream tartar. Cream of tartar, you're going to be adding a half teaspoon of cream of tartar as well. Make sure you guys have preheated your oven to 325 degrees, you guys. Checking out the egg whites, seeing if they're, oh, they're looking good. Yep, they're looking good. When the sides of the egg whites on the side of the pan start kind of sliding down, that's when you know you've got great egg white stiff peaks. I'm taking a fork. I'm stirring in all of my dry mixture together, making sure it's all together and stirred in well and the reason for that is we don't want to beat it a long time or it'll turn to styrofoam so if it's Put in the oven. yep you want to preheat the oven 325 the timer can be set to about 30 minutes Okay, that's looking pretty good. See how it's kind of coming away from the sides of the bowl as it's beating? That means it's got great stiff peaks. It's ready. So I turn my mixer off, and my mixer does not lift up. Just it, the bowl goes down. So you want to put your powdered mix into the center of the bowl or as close as you can to the center. Because when you turn it on, you want to turn it on low. So you put all the powder in. I did it that way, you guys, because I've been having issues with humidity because of the rain. And it looks like it whipped up really good. So let me push this up. Let me put the guard on and let's just really slowly get it to incorporate here. Just want to take your spatula and make sure you're pulling everything from the side back into the beater. You want it to blend, but you don't want to overbeat it or you'll get a styrofoam bread. Okay, so got my bread. I want to get this into these pans, so I'm just going to... There's no way. Okay, I need to talk now. sure that the powder on the sides, if there's any, that you pick it up from the bottom. You incorporate it because you don't want lumpies. You don't want any lumpy goodness left behind. There's some stuff in the bottom. I can feel it gumminess. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to take the foam off my finger and the meringue. Okay, now I don't have hard piece of solid cheese. I only have shredded. So we're going to put shredded cheese across the top. So 
Come take a look. About an ounce in each. Just to give it some flavor. I'd say that's about an ounce. And it's the raw cheese. Kind of pat it down, let get it flat. Now, I'm going to take a different one of these and I'm going to put meringue right on top. Too bad you're over by the window is being blown out. Mm. Maybe I can fix it and post, I don't know. We'll see. The only problem I can see with this is this meringue may stick a little bit to the sides. Because you know why? Mm -hmm. I forgot to spray it. But it is what it is. So you guys can fill these little Bremkins full of your meat blend how you want it. You can add vegetables. You can make a tidy, nice, beautiful stew. So I'm putting that, I think, I need a little bit more. What do you think? Does that look even? Yeah. Evenly distributed? That's good. I don't, want, I don't want somebody to come back and tell me, oh, I got more than him. Because I don't know, you know, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings here. There you go. Put your pies in the oven. Yes, indeed. Now these we're going to have to check. I'm going to make another loaf of bread, too. So let's get that in. I'm making my bread. Just the normal way, just putting it in. I'm hooked on bread, I'm telling you. Yeah, so am I. I just love it. Now this is, instead of Italian seasoning, you guys, I used poultry seasoning because my gravy had poultry seasoning in it. My keto chow, and if you don't have keto chow, no worries, you can use bouillon, you can use Broth, you can use bone broth. You guys can use um, any one of those and then just use xanthan, xanthan gum to thicken it. You can put a little garlic, onion, garlic, onion, and um, Redmond seasoning with a little bit of poultry seasoning in yours. Get it to the consistency you want it, and that would be your gravy for the week. I just love it because I just take the, the beef broth, keto chow, just add a little bit of Redmond's seasoning, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion, and then I put my, um, a teaspoon of my poultry seasoning in it, and man, it's good to go, and it gets better in the refrigerator overnight, and it's perfect for protein sparing modified fast days. It is perfect. It's the perfect vehicle, isn't it, Harry? Yeah, I like it, because it keeps me full. It keeps me full. I don't even want to eat after I have the bread and the gravy. And so I get my vitamins from the keto chow, I'm getting the protein from the bread, the meat that I use is lean. You know, the meat's gonna have a little bit of fat in it, and you need a little bit of fat for your water-soluble vitamins that you do want. Well, that's going to be a big one. Well, I didn't want to make two loaves. I want a nice tall loaf for bread. And then tomorrow night, you guys, um... I'm going to recreate the muffin 
Everybody wants my English muffin recipe, and it was a fail. Now I draw a line through this so it doesn't fall over. Instead, that little line will hopefully let it part. So let's get this in the oven. And we'll clean everything up. I can't leave it open, Harry, because it will cause the meringue to fall. I'm sorry. Anyway, everybody, we'll come back when we have a dinner and we have our little meringue pies. A couple of folks asked me to show and share how I make my gravy. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I have keto chow beef soup base that I'm using. Okay. You can use broth. You can use um, cube, bo bouillon cubes, bouillon paste. You can use bone broth or uh, regular organic chicken broth, any of those things. Because I'm doing powder, I'm using water. So I am adding about a half a teaspoon of poultry seasoning because I want to, I eat more chicken than I do hamburger. And I love the taste of the poultry seasoning in this beef. I love it. Now I want to use a little bit less than a half, about a quarter, not even a quarter of onion, about a quarter of a table, a quarter of a teaspoon, about a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder, garlic granules, more or less to taste because keto chow is already seasoned and flavored and salty. Now, I like mine extra salty because we need the electrolytes, we need the salt. But you wanna taste it before you salt it because it could be if you have a sensitivity to salt. I'm just putting in about a quarter of a teaspoon of the organic seasoned salt. And I'm just going to take and put, because normally when you do keto chow, you put your oil in first, or your fats, then your powder, and then you fill it up to 14 ounces with water. Well, I'm not using any oil because I'm using this for protein spraying modified fast days. And the meat that I'm putting it on should have enough fat in it to help with the water-soluble vitamins getting absorbed into your system. So I have warm water right here, and I'm just putting, it's pretty hot, I'm putting um, it in with my herbs so that it, this doesn't stick to the bottom. I'm just putting my keto chow in. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. And the side of the jar gives you, we usually, 16 ounces is good for us flavor-wise. You want to make sure that your lid is on really tight and that you snap the top. You have to be careful when you're shaking too hot of water, these will explode. So I'm going to add, that looks about right, doesn't it? No, I'm going to add a little, no, that's about right. You mean like blow up the house, explode? Yeah, explode out the top because hot water, you just get more air in there and it poofs. Builds up pressure mm -hmm. huh, from all the stuff. Builds up pressure. So I'll come back in about an hour and shake it once or twice tonight. But I just take this whole container. Keto chow in the door means it's gravy. And that's as simple as it is, you guys. Now, with your bone broth and your organic broth, your chicken broth, your bouillon and those things, you may need to add xanthan gum. I would start with a quarter of a teaspoon and either put it on the stove and warm it or make sure you use warm water. Get it warm because the xanthan gum then gets sticky and starts working so you don't overdo the xanthan gum. But I think it's better overnight because all of the delicious seasonings meld and it's absolutely delicious. We use Italian seasoning, 
We use poultry seasoning, but you guys can find your favorite. You, you can even use the taco base and have taco sauce to put on for your um, protein sparing modified fast day. That would be awesome. So just wanted to share everybody. Just wanted to share. Is it? No, it's been it's been 15 minutes. Let's look inside. Ooh, yeah, that looks pretty dang tasty. So I want to feel it. Actually, what I want to do is I want to poke it with a um, with a stick. Well, no, you can. If you feel it and it feels like jello, jiggly, then you want to cook it longer. If it feels pretty, pretty same all the way around, then it's done. So let me see. I think those are done. Already? Yep. Well, I didn't put hardly any in there. Excuse me. But look at these, you guys. How pretty. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. Look at those. Oh, yeah. So everybody's going to get a beautiful little Renkin meal. You're going to have your bread on top. We're just going to let these cool off for about the rest of the time it takes to cook the bread, when we come back, we'll taste it. It could fall a little bit, and that's perfectly fine. But look at those. I'm so excited, aren't you? Those. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, indeed. Aren't those pretty? Yeah, that's something else. I'm excited, you guys. But remember to spray your Remkin really good because I did not spray my Remkin. I know the bottom stuff inside isn't gonna stick, but this bread may stick to the rim, and that's my bad. So don't forget, use olive oil spray and spray it really good around the outside. But these are beautiful. Can you imagine having a big, beautiful salad and dressings, and then you serve everybody their own little Remkin with deliciousness inside. You guys can make a beef stew with a little bit of carrot onion. You could get the pearl onions in it, and then you could get some real delicious sharp cheese, and then put this a meringue topping. You can do that with the corn topping as well. I hardly put any shredded cheese. I think it was um, an ounce, and that's our fat, you know, basically for the day. So I'm very, very, very excited about that, you guys. Let's come back in 11 minutes and let's take a taste test. Got my cozy, got my goodies. Look at this, you guys. This is beautiful. This one is beautiful. That one is beautiful. So let's give it a taste test, shall we? Oh yeah, cuts like bread. Get some graviness. <gasps> look at that, look inside. Oh yeah, look at the bread. It's bread. It's hot bread. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. It, oh, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, Harry, you're going to have to try it. I'm going to trade places. I'll be camera person. Here's your spoon. Look, did you get in there and see the yep. bread? Bread's sitting right on top. See, look at that. Feel it? Yeah. It's bread. Oh, I know. It feels really good. It smells Careful, great. Careful, it's very hot. Don't just put that in your mouth. I'm seeing chicken pot pie with meringue topping. Oh my God, with this bread. Oh yeah. Isn't that good? That's yeah. good. That is really good. See the bread, you guys? Look at that. Oh, man. Make your favorite chicken pot pie filling and use the savory chicken soup and chunk chicken, some celery, some onions, 
A little bit of mushrooms. Oh yeah. It's really good. There you go. All right. Still got some a ways to go, folks. Well, you guys, Harry and I are gonna eat while these are still warm. I'm telling you, the top is a bread crust. I mean, come look. You've got a bread crust right there. Yep. And the fixings in the side with the gravy, <coughs> with the cheese, five, 10 minutes tops. And you guys don't even have to make a loaf of bread. You can just take one or two egg whites, right? Whip it up, put a little bit of seasoning in it, and make just two cups. It's wonderful, and I bet you these would reheat really well. Oh, yeah. Because the protein spray modified fast bread microwaves well and heats in the oven well. You could put aluminum foil over the top and put it in the oven and reheat it. But you guys, we need to eat now. So, tomorrow, a six and 18 hour fast, six hour eating window, two meals, lift some weights. I had Casey on here for Keto Child because they're having special guests on tonight and I want to see them. Oh. So that's where I'm going to go tonight at 6.15. So that's why I put that on there for a reminder. Anyway, you guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the little bell so you guys get notified of every video we put up as soon as it goes up and goes live. Hey, you guys, please remember to give us a thumbs up as well. And we'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Sally says, Mom, I would like something. Okay, I'll get you some. See, this is exactly why I cook all this delicious chicken sauce so you can have a nice piece. Yeah, can you sit? Can you sit? Oh, she wants to lay down. Okay. Say good night. Good night. Say good night.